Bernie Sanders did something very interesting. Along with Chris Hayes, they decided to do a um, town hall in Trump territory, a place where there's a lot of Trump supporters and they've got the, those supporters in a room. Um, great work here by Chris Hayes, a great idea. And, and, and Bernie Sanders uh, participating was, was terrific too. So uh, to have a real conversation back and forth, and, um, and so there was this one woman in particular, and uh, she apparently did not vote in the 2012 election, she was disgruntled, and decided to vote in 2016 and for Trump. So they had this very interesting back and forth that I want to share with you. Let's watch. I'm sitting here and I'm listening to all this, and you know, as she says, who's paying for this? Right? Who's paying for the Medicaid? Who's paying for the Social Security? Who's paying for the Medicare? Who? We are. Thank you. We are. We are. Now, have any of you seen down on streets that it seems as though we have become the silent minority and not the majority? What do you mean by that? How much have we been listened to, really? But who's the, who's the we when you say this? You mean us people? Who people? The people, people who need the Medicare, the people who need the Social Security, who needs to help with the education. Okay, but now here's good good point. Let's let's see if we can go forward on this. I am assuming that you believe, correct me if I'm wrong, that we should not cut Social Security or Medicare or Medicaid. Is that correct or not? Yeah. Okay. I believe it shouldn't be cut. Okay. Do you know who is now working very hard to try to do that? Republicans in Congress have a plan under the guise of saving Medicare and saving Social Security, making devastating cuts. That's what Republicans are now trying to do. The other point that you made, which is a very, I think you made it, or you, both of you have made it actually, is who's going to pay for this stuff? And that is a very fair point. What all of us should know is that over the last 25 years, there has been a massive transfer of wealth in this country from you to the top one-tenth of one percent. In other words, the middle class has shrunk and trillions of dollars have gone to the top one-tenth of one percent. Do you think it's inappropriate to ask those people to stop paying their fair share of taxes so we can adequately fund Medicaid and making public colleges and universities tuition free? Is that an unfair thing to ask? I think it's an unfair thing to ask. They, the one percenters, they got ripped off us. That's right. So it's time they put back. Okay. All right. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh, it should have been him. He would have won so easy. He got a room full of Trump supporters to give him an ovation there for protecting Social Security and Medicare and taxing the rich. All they wanted was a populist to stand up for them. And what did Democrats give them? They gave them an establishment candidate said, who said, know your role, we're not going to listen to you. Ah! So those are Trump supporters, you could have won them over so easily. Look how easy that was. Okay. So, and, and Bernie's right. That's, that's the other thing that, that the establishment never understood. He had the facts on his side, which was awfully helpful. So now that Trump has won, Oh, there's no brakes left in the Republican car anymore. So Sam Johnson, who's uh, the head of the subcommittee on Social Security, just made a proposal to make devastating cuts to Social Security. He's like, well, man, we're going to get everything we want. You think they're out there to help you? No, you Trump supporters. And uh, look, I'm telling you, man, yes, there's Trump supporters who you know, got bought into the xenophobia and the bigotry and all that stuff. But there's a huge chunk of them who just want to change so desperately. But you got had, you got took. They're going to cut Social Security and Medicare on you. And, and who are they going to transfer the money to? To the rich. Instead of it going the other way, they're going to take from you again and give to the top. Look at who Trump put in his cabinet. All millionaires, billionaires, the heads of giant multinational corporations, uh, uh, elite banks, all the people he pretended to be against. You got had, you got took. So. But I want to leave you with the last quote from that woman there, uh, Gail Sparks. Because I'm not sure there was some applause there. I'm not sure that you heard it clear enough. And I just want to repeat it. She said about the rich, they got rich off of us, so it's time they put back. That's a Trump voter. You give them a populist on the left, and you're going to crush the Republicans. You give them the same establishment Democrats, and you're going to lose. 
It's all the difference in the world. Democratic Party, wake up. Wake up. It's actually your country to take. You have a demographic advantage. You have polling on your side on almost every issue. You've got the population advantage. And you actually can win their hearts and minds if you stop going and trying to appease those same multinational corporations and banks that are your donors. If you actually listen to her, the, the answer is right in front of you. There's one other guy you should have listened to and you can listen to in the future, Bernie Sanders. I'm not talking about electoral situations with Bernie Sanders four years from now or not. I'm telling you, start listening to him today on policy and you'll start to win those fights. It's clear as day if you want to see it. But a lot of Democratic Party, it's not that they're stupid, it's that they're paid to lose. They're paid by their donors to be weak and feckless and serve the donors instead of serving those average Americans. We have got to turn that Democratic Party around. Because as they are currently constituted, the American people have no interest. The, the progressive message that Bernie Sanders is putting forward, they've got tremendous interest in. Turn around, turn around right now. Podcast the whole two hour Young Turks every single day, commercial free, all star Tuesdays, aggressive progressives, old school, post games, TYT classics. You get it all with membership. Do it now, tytnetwork.com slash join.